Final general point before I move on to some specifics is about migration. And I'm going to use London as the example, partly because we're based in London, partly because London's got the most extreme thing. An enormous proportion of the population of London is constantly turning over. People may not realise that, but that is actually the reality. But the age at which they do this is highly stereotyped, it's not random. They first move out of London, so down is out. Um, they first move out of London aged 18. They go to college, they go to university, they go to their first job. Then they come back and they move into London until they have their first or second child, at which point they move out again. And then they stay out. That's happened for generations, for, for, for decades. What it does, though, is it keeps London, and I'm going to show this, forever young and exports age. It's rather like the picture of Dorian Gray, but without the immorality, obviously. <laughs> uh, so London stays young, and the rest of the country ages faster than the overall numbers in the country would predict. And the net flow, this is net flow from cities, is from the north and centre into London to get a job. So two-thirds of graduates move to London. And then net movement of people when they first have their families, or if they don't have a family when they retire, out of London southwards. Now what that means, if you look at the demographic profile of London versus England, this is data from around now. I project, I've gone forward a couple of years because I want to compare it to uh, some years later. This is the population of England as it currently looks. I want you to notice with all of these, this bit at the, at the top. That's people over the age of 90, that bar at the top. They didn't keep on counting. Look at London, and it's got kind of middle-aged spread. But actually, the middle-aged spread is, in fact, young people. So London is a lot, long, lot younger than the rest of the UK. Now, if you project forward 20 years to 2037, 37, which is the reason I chose 17, London looks remarkably similar because it's exporting all its age. But the rest of the UK gets a lot older and in particular, look at this bar at the top. Those are the over 90s, or the rest of England in this case. So a significant exportation of age to other bits of the country. And the, the closer you get to the centre of London, the more marked this is. So this is inner London on the left, and this is outer London on the right. The blue wavy lines are the UK projected on the top, so you can just compare to what the overall looks like. And moving in a bit closer still, Wandsworth on the, le on the left. Uh, City of London's always a bit strange for whole heaps of reasons, but demographic is one of them. Uh, but that's because of the particular kind of, the, the kind of uh, um, working environment here. Uh, but I put it in because we're in the City of London, so I thought you'd like to see what you look like. And it's not just London. So there are a number of other cities, a lot of other cities have exactly the same profile. Uh, and university towns do the same. So this is Oxford on the left. On the right, I've put Nottingham, where I'm comparing the red is Nottingham and the blue is the rest of the UK. That's just to compare it. And so there are many other cities where I could have re repeated this. I've just chosen those ones. 